This year's South by Southwest EDU conference was full of teachers, students, and tech entrepreneurs. Many were found within the Playground EDU, which included interactive workshops and demos, such as 3D doodling. We've been astounded by the array of different uses and uh, ideas that teachers have had for the 3 doodler. Um, it began moving from two-dimensional geometric forms to three-dimensional solids. Attendance networked in an interactive workshop where we met teacher and founder of The Walking Classroom. Laura Fenn. By starting the walking classroom, it was a way for me to combine getting some fresh air and exercise with uh, content. So I started recording some of my lectures that I would have taught to the kids while they were sitting down um, and put them on audio players. And so we just started listening to what they would have been learning while they were sitting down, but we were listening to it while they were walking. The kids would come back more refreshed and better moods, more focused. Educators also connected during EdCamp ATX, an alternative self-directed mini-conference where attendants created their own session themes and topics. It's happy to see about 80 people show up. We've built six sessions today of teachers and educators from around the country, actually around the world. We have two international people. On, on sticky notes, we put a few themes together and we went ahead and, and put the educators together in, in groups and they have been learning from each other ever since. Back in the South by Southwest EDU playground, Blink Blink founders describe their circuit kits, intended to encourage more interest among girls in creative technology. So in our kits, we provide you materials to make DIY arts, crafts, and fashion projects embedded with technology and simple electronics. Something that we try to do is co-design our kits with young girls to make sure our kit and our product is really inviting. Mary Maloney shares how her organization helps kids develop STEM skills and creativity. Coder Dojo is about coding and programming skills, but actually the kids learn an awful lot more. So firstly, they do learn about coding and programming. So some kids build apps, some build websites, some build games. Some build actually enterprise-wide software solutions and new coding languages. Clifford Cohen, director of Anim Action, tells us how his animation program has helped students create memorable experiences for 25 years. Basically, we're, we're talking about um, using creative tools uh, so kids can get involved, build visual connections, work together, collaborate. Helena Selly assistant professor of clinical education at the University of Southern California's Rossier School of Education, develops online graduate programs. She was interested by a session about online education. Online learning can involve live sessions, and many of the experiences with breakout groups and so on and so forth are the same, if not in some ways better than the brick and mortar classroom. So there's potentially pre-recorded lectures. So the precious time in live sessions can really be used for the collaborative problem solving that it's really meant to be. Who did you meet at South by Southwest EDU? Find out who else we met and read our trends and takeaway posts on rossieronline.usc.edu and teach.com.